Hello and welcome to the Green TV Weekly Show. Today we've got lots of stuff from drunk fish to... To this! Rob, <laughs> look! Rob, yeah? Rob, oh my word, I have some absolutely incredible news for you! Oh, don't tell me. Please tell me. Oh, well, okay, okay. Fiji have become the first country in the world to approve the UN Climate Change Agreement for Paris! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Fiji have pledged to produce 100% of their energy through renewable sources by 2030 and cut emissions in the energy sector by 30%. And I hope others follow suit A good very example. soon. Come on, everybody else. Yes, we'll bring, our, we'll bring our blowers out for you when you do. Some people drink like fish, but our friends of the sea may actually be drunk by the middle of the century if things don't change. So, there's been a study just published in Nature which states that see, the rising CO2 levels in our oceans are going to get so bad that it's going to start intoxicating our little fishy population. And it's actually happening far earlier than they originally thought. I mean, it sounds funny, but in reality, it's pretty worrying. The, the CO2 levels in their blood actually causes them to suffer from hypercapnia. That interferes with the neuroreceptors in their brains, causing them to become intoxicated and, well, essentially lost at sea. Okay, now onto some tech news, and we're very excited to announce that River Simple have just launched the prototype of their brand new, awesome, awesome. hydrogen fuel cell car. Yeah. It's got four wheel drive and emits nothing but water. So, the proton exchange system that they use is also quite amazingly used by NASA, Rob. I hear that um, they actually only need a fuel cell big enough to provide cruising speed power. So what they actually do is use about 50% of the energy that they make from braking, wham that straight into the system and use it for acceleration. You see? It's amazing. Yeah, it's actually yeah. really cool. It is actually really cool. I think they call it something like network design or some ism. Okay, so Rob, we're going to finish on a little spot of food. <laughs> well, it's actually food waste, Rob. To put it into context, okay, so... 8% of all greenhouse gases actually come from rotting food. Ooh, don't do that. It's, oh. it's not, that's not nice. I don't even know what that is. But things are changing. One of the sustainable development goals, which has been agreed by world leaders, is that in the next 15 years, we need to cut food waste in half. <laughs> Yes, and actually um, countries are already doing some stuff. So for instance, France has now made it illegal for supermarkets to throw away any edible food. Makes sense. Yeah, and here in the UK, all sorts of fun stuff happens. Yeah, I mean, Asda are selling wonky veg boxes, kind of like this guy. You might see someone like this in yeah. there, for a fraction of a price. I mean, they may not be as pretty, but they taste just as good. Yeah, and Sainsbury's have just announced that by August, they're gonna stop all of their buy one, get one free offers. Bugger. <laughs> Oh yeah, so thank you. That was a really, that's a really good show. Thank you so much for coming. I'm gonna do. A I can't even do my joke. Probably really blown it. Such an attention seeker. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the show. So if you enjoyed it, you can subscribe by clicking here. And if you can, you should like the last show down here. Okay, so he said that if you want to watch last week's show, you can click here. Alright? Stop doing it. It's annoying. Right? <laughs> oh.